Let's make my healing soup that saved my colon. <laughs> All right, so I woke up with this gnarly bed head and I was like, you know what? Let's just make the video. Let's go for it. Life isn't always glamorous. Sometimes it's hilarious. And it uh, got me feeling like Kevin McAllister on uh, the morning that he woke up by himself. <laughs> so now we're just gonna prepare our vegetables. We just got some potatoes, carrots, bok choy, zucchini, and some frozen broccoli and cauliflower. Start by filling a large pot with two boxes of vegetable broth. <laughs> just take everything in this bowl and chop it up roughly. It's all gonna get blended up anyways. First, we'll start with the potatoes. Scoop into a bowl. Next, the carrots. We'll chop tip and tail. You can leave the skin on because it's all getting blended up anyway. The carrots in the bowl with the potatoes. Next is bok choy. Put the bok choy into a separate bowl. Lastly, the zucchini. And the zucchini joins the bok choy. So after you're done, you should have one bowl with the carrots and potatoes and the other with all the other vegetables. Let's toss them in the pot. The potatoes and carrots have been in for seven minutes. Now time to dump everything else in there for another seven minutes. And shout out to my man, Kurt, who went through one of my coaching programs and helped me perfect this recipe to help other people heal. And everything is tender and soft and ready to be blended. You should be able to stick a knife in with no effort. If you have an immersion blender, that'd be ideal. But if not, any old blender will work. And dinner is served. Now you can spice up this soup with literally anything you want. Some salt, pepper, you can throw a bay leaf in there. If your gut is ready for it, some garlic powder, onion powder, literally whatever you want. But you have this beautiful base of a ton of different vegetables, nutrient dense, soothing for your colon. So always remember that healing is possible and live well and love life everybody.